Gaza is plunged back into a communication blackout communication has again been cut in Gaza, two providers said early Wednesday. Paltel and Jawal reported a complete disruption of communications and internet services in Gaza, the second major cut in five days. Humanitarian aid agencies have warned that such blackouts severely disrupt their work in an already dire situation in Gaza. A deluge of Israeli airstrikes Tuesday on a refugee camp near Gaza City demolished apartment buildings, leaving gaping holes where they once stood, while ground troops battled Hamas militants across northern Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has rejected calls for a ceasefire, though more than half of Gaza's 2.3 million Palestinians have fled their homes. Several hundred thousand remain in the north, where Israeli troops and tanks have reportedly advanced on multiple sides of Gaza City. The Palestinian death toll in the Israel-Hamas war has reached 8,525, according to the Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza. In the occupied West Bank, more than 122 Palestinians have been killed in violence and Israeli raids. More than 1,400 people in Israel have been killed, most of them civilians slain in the initial oct. 7 Hamas rampage that started the fighting. In addition, around 240 hostages were taken from Israel into Gaza by the militant group. One of the captives, a female Israeli soldier, was rescued in a special forces operation. 1. Five hostages of Hamas are free, offering some hope to families of more than 200 still captive. 2. Yemen's Houthi rebels claim attacks on Israel, drawing their main sponsor Iran closer to Hamas war. 3. Bolivia severs diplomatic ties with Israel as Chile and Colombia recall their ambassadors. 4. Amnesty International says Israeli forces wounded Lebanese civilians with white phosphorus. 5. Biden's cabinet secretaries will push Congress to send aid to Israel and Ukraine. 6. Find more of a peace coverage at appnews.com slash hub slash Israel dash Hamas dash war. Here's what is happening in the latest Israel-Hamas war. G-A-Z-A-I-S-P-L-U-N-G-A-D-B-A-C-K-I-N-T-O-A-C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-B-L-A-D-C-A-K-O-U-T. CAIRO Gaza has once again suffered a communication blackout, providers Paltel and Jawal said early Wednesday. In an email to the Associated Press, Internet Access Advocacy Group Netblocks.org confirmed that Gaza is in the midst of a total or near total telecoms blackout, consistent with the weekend blackout. Connectivity was previously cut from late Friday to early Sunday coinciding with the entry of large numbers of ground troops into Gaza in what Israel at the time described as a new stage in the war. Attempts to reach Gaza residents by phone were unsuccessful early Wednesday. Humanitarian aid agencies have warned that such blackouts severely disrupt their work in an already dire situation in Gaza. P-K-I-S-T-A-N-U-R-G-E-S-A-C-T-I-O-N-A-F-T-E-R-I-S-R-A-A-I-E-R-S-E-T-R-I-K-A-S-O-N-A-A-L-A-I-D-I-U-G-
which has been mediating talks with Hamas over the more than 200 hostages it holds from its oct. 7. Attack on Israel described the strike as a new massacre against the defenseless Palestinian people, especially women and children. The country warned that the expansion of Israeli attacks in the Gaza Strip is a dangerous escalation in the course of confrontations, which would undermine mediation and de-escalation efforts. Associated Press writer John Gambrell contributed. U.S. S-E-C-R-E-T-A-R-Y-O-F-S-T-A-T-A-T-O-T-R-A-V-L-T-O-I-S-R-A-E-L-A-L-L-I-D-L-Y W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced plans to travel to Israel on Friday to consult with Israeli officials about their ongoing war on Hamas. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said Tuesday that Blinken would visit Israel and then will make other stops in the region. He did not identify the other planned stops. Blinken made an urgent trip to the Middle East earlier in October, visiting Israel, Jordan, Qatar, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and the United Arab Emirates. 